Hello, one year later tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2 with me, Blankulo. We've made it to Parmesia and built ourselves a town. And it's been a whole year. That's right. So, get out there and do something exciting. Invade some lands! <laughs> Oh, you mean improve our home. Right, right, right. Sorry. Oh, what a good king we have. Embodiment of um, national pride. Do we even call ourselves a nation? We just invaded Parmesia, built a town in the middle of nowhere, just sort of claimed it for, for, uh, for Grand Seal. It's new Grand Seal. Uh, thanks for nothing, you schleps. Sir Astral, you're the new king. We've been here a year. We built a little castle, we've got a town. We're missing trading, that's right! You need trade for economy to flourish. Besides, I don't know where we get food from. Or hardly anything. Do we just make everything ourselves? I guess we could fish. It's a nice big ocean. I get tired of fish after a while though. It's probably what this is all about. We've been eating fish for a year and it's like, okay guys, I need you to go out there and kill some animals for us, because this place is it's too fishy. Alright, so welcome to New Grand Seal. Do you? I thought she fell into a pit of death. No, I I shall not. You're a crazy old man. Yeah, blink of an eye and it's been a year. I'm glad we got it tested. Um, if you haven't seen it, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Let me open my uh, menu here. I never really showed it off. But it does show you the two jewels in your status screen. In case you were wondering where they were. Aww, the poor king. Psh. I mean, the old guards did not do a very good job. So I can't imagine the new guards could do any worse. Falling into pits, getting killed by... Invaders not wanting to learn how to fight, you know. Uh, you're, this is a really inspiring speech, I take it. They talk late and I get tired of them. I think this one... Nope. One of the pots has something, trust me. There we go, cheerful bread. Pretty sure that's the, that's the item that adds permanent HP. No, no, try to talk to this guy. You're just watching over some boxes. You're watching boxes and barrels. Little did he know he was supposed to guard the cheerful bread that we stole. Dark Saul. Also Dark Sun, perhaps. That was the big bad from the first game, which I believe was a fairly long time history-wise before this game. Like, in the past. I think the cheerful bread was probably the only item to get. Tactical base! Booyah! So we finally got an official barrack. Also, you might want to check this out. This is actually a really nice item. This is perhaps the best item we found yet. So um, we haven't really talked about promotions much. I'm still saving that for another day. But uh... Let's just say you might want to let someone like Jaha hold on to that. Because, uh, he's kind of a warrior, right? And warrior's pride might be something he could use. Sure, Kazan, whatever you say. So are you, are you a, a boy or a horse? 
Boys don't usually say winning. Yeah, that's never gonna happen, Sarah. I'm gonna stay alive, and you guys are gonna die to protect me. If you say so, Slade, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um... You know, I can get behind that philosophy. I don't know why you joined the Force, but, uh... Having a nap sounds pretty good, actually. So we got a little, uh, arena here for some sparring. Got some beds, some nice tables. Um, Sir Astral hangs out down here. That's pretty cool. Take it easy. See, Sir Astral's the best. He's he's serious and awesome when he needs to be, and then takes it takes it easy and has a has a bit of a party when you don't need to be so serious. He's in two places at once as well. It's pretty awesome. I mean, he's obviously a wizard. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> he he, I'm cool? Look, if you say you're cool, it means you're not. I'm the only one who can say he's cool. Nobody ever comes. Well, you better make sure they have permission if someone does show up. Alright, let's go check the town out. We might even have a new store to buy stuff at. A strange animal? Let's capture it and put it on display in a prison! It's a big bird. <laughs> well, I know one of my viewers loves large birds. Let's go see the giant bird! No, you go tell the king. I'm going to see the bird. Oh, look, there he is! A big fat bird flying around with a little blue cape on. Good timing. Yeah. All right, well, at least he went to tell the king, so that's covered. Um, I'm just gonna explore the village first. I'm sure the bird's exciting, but let's learn about Father Carpenter and Great Voyage. I suppose maybe we wrote that book to describe our voyage. One could perhaps say it was great. Out to lunch. You mean out to pester the animals. Well, I'll just grab your loot while you're out. Shouldn't leave the store unlocked while you're out. Your daughter was not a very good guard either. Yep. Of course he did, and he left his young child alone in the house to mend the shop while he went out to bother the animals. A uh, agriculture, that sounds exciting. Okay, it's a dead end. No problem. Aw, oh, man. Outdoor priesting and everything. Yay, an antidote! Alright, what else for exciting books can we get? Despotism. I think I'm not the only person that's concerned with our king's leadership lately. A magazine, Hunter's Life. Alright. Soap opera. Can you have a book? That's a soap opera? I thought that was TV shows only. Don't ask me. Buy and sell. Wow. People really need to invest in some better literature. I'll take the healing seed. And sell it. Haha! <laughs> like a buy and seller would. I think this is the only time you can get to this chest as well. If you want a healing drop, that is. Because I'm pretty sure the shopkeeper will get in the way when we come back later. Alright, let's see what this bird's up to. He's a shining bird! It might be a stuffed animal. I'm pretty sure it's flying and flapping its wings. And when did this beast- oh, this was the guy that wanted the sulfur. Right, right. We've got one animal guy that's okay. And the rest of them are terrible and need to be locked up. Was he? I guess this is mum. And apparently she doesn't even know where my dad's from. It's a legendary bird. Except for right now. May I help? Oh, too bad, not selling anything. 
There's a lot of water in that well. <laughs> I forgot you could do that, too. So now we've got him cornered. Poke him with a stick! Now, I don't understand why he puts up with all of this. He could totally kill those two children. I happen to know. He's fast, and he could kill you. Yeah. You know, if you just spoke up earlier. Speaking bird! Double the poking! Well, st strangers that fly in and don't even say anything as we poke them with sticks only continues into more stick poking. It just leads into that. Shut up, bird! <laughs> so if a bird flew into your school and you were like, seven, and the bird starts talking, you tell it to shut up, you stupid bird. Uh, it's just the kids, and most of the adults. <laughs> They're about to hit the bird again! What about its fragile hollow bones? <laughs> uh, just picking on some wildlife. Sentient, talking, flying, shining, legendary wildlife. Yeah, sorry about the kids, and everyone else that stood around watching them. I'm the one nice guy in the village. Yeah, I think he would know if he lives here. It's a good thing you're not trying to kill me, or eat me. The king, oh yeah, the king will love to meet this guy. Alright folks, back to work. Uh, I think I'm just gonna say the same thing. This is boring, there's no birds anymore. That was pretty fun! <laughs> they all get their jollies off just smacking the bird. How do you know he belongs to a god? Who told you that? You will be! You know, you should be able to expect the town guard to, you know, uphold the law and stuff. Whatever the law is. Actually, good question, I don't know. What do you deal with flying sentient animals that come into your town? They probably don't have rules for that yet. Ooh, a legendary bird. Apparently. Well. Has there been any legends about him would be the question. Other than that, he's a phoenix. Oh, somebody reads books. So, he's friends with the god, huh? Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, just the being that created the Earth. You're just on a, a first name uh, friendship with him. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Is uh, Sunday okay? Uh, what would you like? Band-Aids? I've got a couple healing herbs. These lads love trouble. Uh, did you not see me walk in, old man? I think he needs some glasses. Alright, adventure it waits! Mount Vulcanon with Peter. Sounds like fun. Why not? Sir Astral's also. I'd love him on the force. You're not the boss of him. Sir Astral, you tell him what's what. No, we don't have to listen to you. You're a dumb king that's too old. Well, if I'm taking the party, the party includes Sir Astral. Guess. Alright, Peter. I hope you're as awesome as Sir Astral is. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a pretty long walk. So he has joined as a guest. Uh, you'll learn about that in a minute. We don't actually have control of him or anything. See, that's why I checked that barrel. I kept thinking there'd be something in there. A hundred gold coins. Oh, how generous of you. Don't spend it all in one place. I'll try. So, off to great adventure. So, Peter will follow us around on the map pretty much forever. Um, you can see his stats here, and they're kind of ridiculous. Um, although we're about to get some new weapons, so we'll catch up a little bit. But, uh, Peter's pretty overpowered. <laughs> he is currently a phoenix. <laughs> phoenix. Doesn't end with an X. Uh, you might be able to talk to him in the, uh, in the academy or barracks or whatever they call this place. What do you call this thing? Tactical base. Sorry. Does he show up here? Yeah. So, that's a good note. Even if he dies, um, he just comes back for the next fight. Brand new. Which is pretty cool. Um... We haven't had to witness anything like that so far, though, so maybe it will just never happen. Anyway, everyone's back to their respective uh, locations, so we can maybe have a chat. Oh, so maybe the reason the priest doesn't have a, a room is because of that uh, wall that Jaha broke. I, I think we can blame Jaha for that one. So, on one hand, I'm happy that our house with our mum like, we've actually got a house. I don't think very many people have a house yet. But what's a little bit creepy is, well... There's only one bed here. And, I mean... I love my mom as much as anyone. But... Uh, uh, it's a little bit... No. It's a little bit no. Not going any further on that line. Like, this house doesn't even have a bed. I guess these guys just all sleep on the floor. Just cover themselves up in books and light a fire. Uh, there's three kids. We've seen two of them. I don't know. I mean, he kind of gets around. Lots of people manage to see Peter. That's not a very good hiding spot. So it would have been much harder to get down to that barrel now than when we first went to it. Oh, this guy's kind of important. An explosive? Well, I love blowing stuff up. Oh, well that's no good. But I want to blow stuff up. Could we not put like a fuse on it or something? Maybe they haven't invented fuses yet. Stop calling me boy. Oops, that's not what I want to do. So, uh, we've got new stuff. Uh, the middle sword. This is an upgraded spear rather than a short spear. Better axe. And no knife. So Slade, unfortunately, does not get a weapon upgrade this time around. Uh, which means he's going to lag behind a little bit. Oh, we've got too much stuff. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. We're going to end the episode fairly soon anyway before we head out. Yeah, I've decided we're going to do it like that. So, um, I'll do the inventory management off camera. I'll buy swords, axes, and spears for people who need such things. And rearrange all everyone's equipment. I'll just do that off camera to save some time. I'm also getting a little bit of lag right now, which is odd. I have to check into that in between episodes too. Something's not right. We can pretty much the same stuff as last time. Just to double check. We picked up a healing drop. I Are these the rare ones? No, I don't think those are the rare ones. There's I think there's four tiers. There's medical herbs are 10 HP, medical seeds are 20. I think healing drops are 30. 
and you can eventually buy them. And I think there's a better one that's full HP, but it's there's only so many. They're just ran they're not random, they're just rare. Yeah. Alright, well I think that's an explored town. So uh yeah, next episode I'll come back. We'll take Peter out for a spin and uh start exploring Parmesia, and hopefully I won't have so much leg. What is going on here? Ah, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.